We're going to do a mobile straddle stretch. And the purpose of this exercise is to work these muscles so much that they fatigue and get out of our way of doing more flexible stretching in a static straddle position. So we're going to start by turning everything out from our hips to our knees, to our ankles, to our feet, which means that everything is facing the ceiling. And we're going to flex our feet up towards the ceiling as well. Bring your arms up straight, relax those shoulders, and I want you to reach up and out of your hips as much as possible. And then you're going to drop for four counts. One, two, three, Four, come as low as you can without touching anything of your upper body onto the ground, and then come back up for four counts. One, two, three, four. If you're here today or here or anywhere in between, completely fine. It will get easier to go lower as you keep going. What I don't want you to do is compensate your form and start crouching over like this. If you try this even right now, you'll notice that you're not working the same muscles in the same way as if you just come a little bit higher, maintaining that flat back and reaching up and out. And I say reach up and out because if you just reach directly down, notice that I already start curving my back. So really reach up and out for four counts, three, four, and then come back up five, six, seven, eight. I'm still lifting up. So we'll do that probably four to eight times in our warm up, And then you would come down and hover for anywhere between one and two eight counts. And when we hover, we're still flexing our feet, keeping everything turned out. I'm reaching up and out with that flat back but I'm just hovering above the ground or hovering above the ground or hovering above the ground, wherever you're at today. And then at the very end, you'll just release everything and you'll notice that your muscles are a little bit looser. There's a little bit more wiggle room to stretch. And I, for my class, I always have us sickle, turn in, release the knees. They don't need to be turned out or straight so that you can just relax in that forward fold. And then later on we can stretch properly properly, traditionally, with everything turned out and pointed.